Hello friends, you are watching data structures using C. All the videos are brought to you by Angpro Training from Angpro Technologies. Hello friends, in this class we will be discussing about uh, one of the most important data structures that is Q. Uh, if you want to understand uh, every concept of Q, I recommend you to go and watch our previous videos on data structures using C. So it will be better for you to understand Qs uh, better, right? So let us start today's class. Q is a linear data structure in which removal of elements are done in the same order they were inserted, right? So Q is also one of the data structures in which uh, we insert elements and we remove elements uh, but the removal and insertions are happen at uh, two ends right they don't happen at the same end as we did in the stack uh, whereas stack insertion and removal are happened at the same end and Q is very important you can imagine the real world Q where people are standing in a line for ticket booking or to get any service right that is the element will be removed first which is inserted first so same as the real world queue so if people are uh, standing in a queue the person will get the service first who is standing at the first position right so once he get his service he will move away from there and the second person will be serviced right and uh, the insertion of people or the adding up of people are happening at the back end which we called as rare end right so same thing is happening here elements are inserted at one end called the rare and the deleted at the other end called the front so insertion of elements are happening at the rare end and the deletion of elements are happening at the front end. So let us compare Q with stack. Q is also known as first in first out data structure because the element is deleted first which comes first. Right? So in short this is called as FIFO which is which stands for first in first out. Right? and stack is also known as last in first out data structure because the element which comes at last will be removed first now let us understand the memory representation of Q this has got seven locations uh, so we can input seven elements into it so its index also starts from zero and there are two major pointers in the context of Q one is front another one is rear so front pointer always points to the front end of the queue that is uh, the first element in the queue and rear end always points to the rear pointer always points to the rear end of the queue that is the last uh, element in the queue right and there are two major operations in the queue one is in queue inserts an element at the rear end another one is DQ deletes an element at the front end right so using these operations we can insert and delete the elements right so first let us enqueue the element 10 and increment r here r means the rear end pointer so when we input the element 10 that will go into the first position which is zeroth index so here 10 will occupy this place and the front pointer will point to this end right so front end is always point to the first element and rear pointer will always point to the uh, last element in this case we are incrementing it to the next position uh, so the position where it is incremented will be occupied by the next element right so it is always better and it is always important to increment the rear pointer or uh, to occupy to make the room for the next element right so now we'll enqueue 20 and increment the rear pointer so 20 will take uh, the second place and r will move to the third position so this is nq 30 this is nq 40 nq 50 nq 60 and when we nq 70 uh, the rear pointer is pointing to the next location which we handle by our program so now let's 
uh, look at the DQ operations and when we DQ 10 so F will be incremented to the next position that is now F is pointing to 20 when we DQ 20 that means deleting the elements from the queue it will point to 30 so when we DQ 30, 40, 50 and 60 so this is the status of the queue I hope you understood this class in the next video we will be covering the practical operations and algorithms uh, that is applied on the queue thank you well friends that's it for the class subscribe to our channel on YouTube like our page on Facebook follow us on Twitter and join our group on LinkedIn thank you